yes i know many of us we are familiar with trust wallets and apart from trust wallet some people don't even know there are some other decentralized wallets that exist what's up guys sunny victor here welcome back again to my YouTube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys the best alternative to trust wallet hub so before i pursue this video i'd like you guys to do me a very big favor by tapping the subscribe button subscribe to my youtube channel if you're just subscribed and also make sure you tap the bell button to get notifications and some upload new videos so without any further ado let's dive in let's dig in and let's go straight to the main business so what's the name of this decentralized wallet the name is beat keep so this is it right here you can download it on the google play store so this hub has millions of users okay but it's not really as popular as trust wallet but i think it is the number one uh decentralized wallet in asia so as you can see right here on the screen it's an easy to use web3 wallets the crypto wallet chosen by 6 million 300 thousand plus users save storage of cryptocurrency take control of your assets take notes not your key not your crypto 76 plus mainnet supported for you to explore nft defi dao so i'm going to explain exactly what that means later in this video 76 plus mainnet so uh, we have you know the trade nft and tokens across multiple chains and get instant results so you get almost instant results so now uh you need to download the app via google play store so you go to google play store so i'm not really sure if it is on the apple store so for apple users check check it out on apple store so this is the app right here i've already downloaded it and installed it on my phone and i've created a new wallet on it so i'm gonna open the app right now okay so this is the app i've already duplicated it on my phone so this is the one which i've already created account on so as you can see it has some of the features that are on trust wallet okay so you can swap on it not just swap on one uh blockchain you can swap on different blockchains so if i click on the swap feature you're going to see so this is it right here so we have the swap at the top right here so and as you can see this interface is just showing like <clears throat> the interface on you know uh on binance where whereby when you click on market when you click on you know uh spot like just like spot trading so when i click on swap right here at the top to the swap here i'll be able to swap you know usdt to ethereum so and once you click on the usdt you're going to see you'll be able to swap from uh ethereum blockchain binance smart chain okay so this is ethereum for for an example let's click on ethereum so let me select uni then i want to test out something binance smart chain seems it's possible for you to swap from you know ethereum blockchain to binance smart chain like what you can do on decentralized exchange it's actually seems you can do it on this particular wallet this is pretty amazing and awesome because if everyone knows about this decentralized wallet and they start using it okay there might be no reason for people to be using centralized exchange so i think this particular wallet uh 
might actually be the centralized exchange killer. You understand? Because since it is decentralized, once you create a wallet, you have access to your uh your passphrase, your 12 words, okay? And with your 12 words, you can import your 12 words into another decentralized wallet like Trust Wallet, and you have access to all your crypto. So when it's your key, it's your crypto. When you're given a key, you're given your crypto. But when you don't have your key, you don't have the crypto. So most of the uh, centralized exchanges like Binance, uh, Coinbase, uh, coin that don't give passwords like it's very dangerous okay those funds we have there doesn't belong to us we are just taking a very big risk so but nevertheless no one is forcing anyone to use those centralized exchange we just decided to use them but and at the same time there are some people who don't really know anything about decentralized exchange or centralized exchange that one is just to buy crypto so for actually people like us who know the difference between decentralized exchange and the decentralized exchange i think it's our duty to actually teach and educate uh the newbies who don't really know the difference in between the decentralized exchange and the centralized exchange so and apart from the swap feature we have the nft so you can buy nft and we have the dab right here okay just like on trust wallet so when you click on nft you're going to see uh different nfts categories blah 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 so i'm going to click on dab let's see what's on dab as you can see on dab we have uniswap here we have pancake swap we have sushi swap these are the uh, best decentralized exchange okay so we have uniswap pancake swap sushi swap and there are so many other decentralized applications right here so when you scroll down you're going to see them okay so also there are you know wonderful features like airdrop so you can get airdrop with this decentralized wallet so when you click on discover okay you are also going to see other options let's say you want to follow them on twitter so once you click on this you'll be able to follow them on twitter follow them on telegram facebook discord okay they also have an academy just like binance academy this is the academy right here so uh, everything you can do with trust wallets you can as well do it on this platform and even more yeah i think even more so you can easily send and receive okay and also uh i said i'm going to explain uh something here okay uh the 76 plus main nets okay so what does this really mean so we actually have different blockchains okay and you know those blockchains have main main nets okay so main net is something you know like it's a live blockchain a real blockchain and we also have test nets so that test nets is just for testing it's not re real it's not live okay so but the main net it's real is live and when you are transacting on the main net you are going to need real crypto real funds okay unlike on text net that you only need you know fake funds you don't really need real funds most of you guys that are familiar with this test net and main net stuff should actually understand better so as you can see on once you click on main net right here uh at the right up you are going to see different blockchains so as you can see right here we have aptos polygon bnb chain bitcoin ethereum tron and you can add more by clicking on this admin net once you click on admin net you are going to see different 
mainnet blockchain that you can hide so why do you need this mainnet okay for example if you want to perform a transaction on the binance smart chain you really need you really need what we'll call uh the 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 you need you really need to be on that blockchain network that you want to perform transaction on are you getting it so if you want to perform transaction okay or you want to do a smart contract transaction on block binance smart chain you need to be on the binance smart chain to perform that transaction okay so for example most of us some of us that have been minting zen token we should understand exactly what this means because on zen crypto you can mint zen on different blockchains i think 10 blockchains right now so i already showed you guys that you can mint via binance smart chain and you can mint on ethereum blockchain as well you can mint on you know dodge chain you can mint on phantom chain you can mint on polygon chain so this chain uh they are different okay they are different so you can see there are a lot of uh mainnet chains right here so and these are far more than you know the trust wallet uh mainnet chains okay so this one has a lot more than the trust wallet so now the only thing that i see here okay when you are creating a new wallet and after creating the new wallet let's say you want to back up your wallet you can't actually copy like copy your passphrase just like you know trust wallet that you can easily copy you know you click on the copy button to copy your uh, what's it called your passphrase this one you can copy unless you write it down you understand so that's the only thing and to me you know uh if you are going to be creating multiple wallets with that it's actually going to be stressful so this is it once you download the half you can study this exactly how it's going to look like okay so next thing is you create a new wallet or you import the wallet so that is it guys i really hope you found this video helpful you guys can actually uh play around the interface okay to discover more things yourself so after downloading the and installing after downloading and installing the app and you you know come across any new future or something that you find interesting make sure you come to the se comment section below and you know uh, comment and show us what you discover you understand so that is it thank you once again guys i'll see you guys in the next video until next time peace out